So we had a warm up. Our activator, Adriana, walks from her house to her friend's house in five minutes. The chart below shows her distance traveled during her walk. So we want to think about this and say, okay, at zero minutes, she's traveled zero feet. And that kind of makes sense. After one minute, she's walked 60 feet. So she's going at this pace of 60 feet per minute. If I do a first dif difference, I'm like, okay, she's increased 60 feet. And then on the next minute, how far has she increased? 60 more. So she's keeping up a good steady pace. She's walking at the same pace. And then again, it's 60 steps or 60 feet per minute for the first three minutes. And then what happens? Did you see something happen here? Instead of adding 60 still, now she has only adding 50. All right. So when it says, what's the average speed from zero to three? We want to look at this and say from zero to three, what happened? Okay. We want to do the Y2 minus Y1. So Y2 minus Y1, 180 minus zero over three minus zero. And we get 180 over three, which is 60. And that makes sense. Her average speed was 60. Okay, now these could have been different each time and we would have wanted to find the average using y2 minus y1. We don't want to rely on this, but it just happened to be the same this time. Now I wouldn't just say 60, 60 what? Miles per hour, feet per minute, Like right? We're not a car driving miles per hour, we're walking in feet per minute. So we have to look at our units and write feet per minute. All right, what's your average speed from three to five? So same thing, we're going to go here and say 280 minus what number? 280 minus 180, good, divided by, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, 5 minus 3. What is our difference there? Ah, it looks like 100, yeah. And then divided by 2, looks like 50 feet per minute is our average there and it makes sense, right? All right, so what happened between these two time intervals? What do you think? Yeah, Tiba. The rate of change decreased, yeah. Maybe she got to a hill and it, it was steep and she was like, oh man, and then she started walking slower or she got tired or I don't know, she got a text message and she started walking slower because she's texting someone, I don't know. But she's walking faster than she starts walking slower. All right, so what happened between these two time intervals? Her rate of change decreased. Decreased or she slowed down. She slowed down, slowed down. All right, so our plan for today <coughs> is this. By the end of class, every student will be able to find the rate of change given a linear, quadratic, or exponential function. Same thing as yesterday, right? I feel like we haven't, we, we're not changing our objective at all. Um, homework nine tonight, I think is a graded homework, meaning it's a quiz grade. So we need to be very careful when we're doing our homework tonight and not just like, oh, let me just get it done. We really want to think about it and make sure that we're doing it carefully. Our quiz is next Tuesday. That one is not retakeable. So we want to get ready, make sure we're ready for that. Yes. Oh, I don't know. All right. So last night's homework, we can go over the answers real quickly. We've got a table of values. We need just to go 81 minus 3 over 4 minus 1. And we found the rate of change is 26. But I didn't have units. I couldn't say feet per second, miles per hour, there weren't any units. So we just wrote, I just wrote 26. It was exponential. We knew that because we were multiplying by three each time. Um, this one was quadratic because I could see it was a parabola. We went four minus one over two minus a negative one. This is where I imagine students will have some mistakes. When you take a two minus a negative one, you want to be careful, make sure that becomes plus. So if you ended up with three as your answer, that's probably what happened, okay? On the back, we had one more, and that was a linear function. We added four each time, constant difference. 
Um, and then, no matter where we're at, if it's constant, well, then our rate of change is 4. It's, it's always 4. The speed stayed 4 no matter what. Okay? All right. Awesome. Any questions on the homework? All right. So, this part, you are going to read the scenario and complete the whole first page all by yourself. And then we're going to check in. Now, one thing, some people may have already started. My other class, they got raced ahead. But I'm glad if you didn't race ahead. That's okay. What I'm going to ask is that we make the hair have a, a, di a diamond. So as you're plotting the points on here, you want to put diamonds as your points. And then, so it'll look like this. It'll have diamonds and then connections and then diamonds and then connection. So connect your diamonds. But those are your points for the hair. And the tortoise, let's make a circle. So we need to get used to seeing this notation. Like, if you have two graphs on one graph, you use different symbols to tell the difference. OK. So be really careful plugging in your 0 and squaring it. Or here, plugging in 2 to the 0 power. OK? Any questions? All right, go ahead and get started. If you're watching the video, you want to hit pause, try it on your own, and then the answers are just going to flash up on the board, just so you know. Okay, go ahead and hit pause if you haven't done it yet. All right, so this is what your graph should have looked like. Some of my students are still working on it. Um, but the tortoise maybe starts out ahead, then somebody catches up, and then eventually the tortoise is much further than the hare. Okay. On the back of that page, and I'm sorry you have to flip back and forth, um, maybe two people in your group can stay with it forward and two people can flip it over, but there are six questions on the next page. Um, so we want you guys to work this out in groups, talk about it, think about it, and then I'll post the answers and we can see if we agree. All right. All right. So problems one through six on the back. I'm going to ask my students for answers and we'll put them up and we'll talk about them. So. What type of relationship is the hair's distance as a function of time, and how do you know? Anybody want to volunteer? Yeah, Andrew. It's quadratic, and how did you figure that out? Because the second, I'm just going to write second difference is constant. All right, so if we look back at the other page, we can see the first difference we would add, just add 1. Plus 1, here, add 3, here, add 5, add 7, add 9. I'm just going to stop there. Then I can find my second difference, and I see, aha, 1 plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. So the second difference is the same exact number, which tells me it's quadratic. Very good, Andrew. All right, while we're here, let's look at this guy. What do I do to get to the next term? Quan, you got a, a, a way to get to the next term there? How do I get from 2 to 4 and 4 to 8 and 8 to 16? What are we doing each time? Yeah, we're multiplying by what number? By 2, very good. Times 2, times 2, times 2. So what does that tell me about my function? Is it linear, quadratic, or exponential? Exponential. All right, this doesn't want to turn. Here we go. So this is exponential because we are multiplying by 2 each time. Oh, I should say each time. Each time. All right, awesome. At what time does the hare catch up to the tortoise? Who's got that? When's the first time that he catches up? Yeah. After two seconds. So at what time? They're asking us for a time. So if you told me four, I had a lot of people in my other class say four. At four, they're, they're the same. You're right. But at what time? At t equals two, the tortoise, the hare catches up to the tortoise. At what time are they tied? There's a couple of places where they're tied. At what time or times? At t equals... When are they the same number? You can look at your table. Yeah, Nick. At t is 2 and t is 4. Good. If the race course were 30 meters long, who's going to win, the tortoise or the hare, and why? Who who decided the, well, 
who has an answer for me first? I've already talked to you, so I want to talk to other people too. I already talked to you too. Who else haven't I talked to? Yes, JC. You think the tortoise is gonna win? Why? Because he's being double G each time. What could I do with 30 to prove it? How could I use 30 to show you who wins? You would take 30 and square it? Okay, and is that going to give me which? This is the hare, okay. And then the, tur the tortoise would be what? 2 to the 30th. So can you guys do that in your calculator real quickly and tell me what you get? Oh, I think we did this backwards. Hmm. So this doesn't say after 30 seconds. This says 30 meters. So is this our X or our Y? Are we plugging this in for X or Y? So let's go back and look. Where, what's our X? Our X or our T is time, and this is the, the distance. Okay, you're right. The tortoise still wins. But we want to plug it into our equation differently. All right, so let's plug that in. So we want to say 30 equals t squared. And we want to say 30 equals 2 to the t. Oh, my goodness. Can we even do this? I don't think we... Th you need a logarithm to solve that. Oh, my gosh. We could look at a graph. We could see where does this graph equal 30? What's the time? What time is that happening? Or you, what else could you do with your table? Is there anything you could go back to your table and do? Have we already hit 30? Oh, it's right there in front of us. Ha! Huh, look! We got to 36 here, and here we've got to 32, so the tortoise hit 30 feet right before 5 seconds, and the hare, it between 5 and 6. So definitely the tortoise. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Alright, cool. So why? Well, the tortoise, we, I looked at the table, and I saw the table, table showed me. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> It spoke to me. How far has the hare traveled from 0 to 2? How far? What's the distance from 0 to 2? 4? The 4 meters? 4 meters? Good. Uh, how much time has elapsed? This is a silly question. <laughs> yes. 2 seconds have passed between 0 and 2. Alright. So if we want to find the average speed, we want to say... We don't ever say me seconds per meter. You wouldn't say seconds per meter. That's just weird. You say meters on top, seconds on bottom. Four meters for every two seconds. So we're going to have four over two, which is two meters per second. So the speed of the hair from zero to two is two meters per second. Do you see how we did that? We took the distance divided by the time. Okay? Now, the whole next side has you guys figuring it out. I'm going to do one with you, and you're going to do the rest by yourself. Here we go. Use the properties to compare the speed of the tortoise and the hare in the following. So I need to go take a picture of this so that I don't have to keep turning back. Clipboard, back, back, paste, paste. Okay, so I'm going to use that so I can see my values. All right, are we ready? So from 0 to 2, didn't we just do that? We just did that for the hare. For, from 0 to 2, and I like to go like this, I went from 0 to 4. So 4 minus 0 over 2 minus 0. 4 over 2 is 2 meters per second. Alright, uh, what about from 2 to 4? What's happening for the hair? From 2 to 4, we went from 4 to 16. Which do I put first, the 4 or the 16? We're always putting the second one first, the y2 minus the y1. So 16 minus 4, Brian, right here, we're going to take that 16 minus 4, the second minus the first, and then 4 minus 2 on the bottom. All right, so what do we have? 12 over 2. What's my speed here? 6 meters per second. Good. So I want you to go ahead and keep going with this thing. You want to do the 
the tortoise, the hare. Once you find all six, then you can compare them at each of those intervals. All right? Does everybody understand what the job is? All right, I'll come and help that person that shook their head no. Okay, ready, go. All right, the final answer would be this. Let me highlight. Let's see if I can do this without hiding the answer. 10 meters per second. Nope, that's bad. It should be 10 meters per second, 6 meters per second, and 2. Here we have 1.5, 6, and 24. So here we've got the hair moving faster. Here we have the, they're the same speed. And here we have the tortoise moving faster. All right. So that is what we did. Hopefully that was helpful um, if anybody's absent. All right. Thanks for watching.